Iceberg Jim, back at y'all another one. Head to head matchup: Fuku versus Chick Fil A. Fuku fried chicken versus Chick Fil A. David Chang's Fuku fried chicken versus Chick Fil A. It's gonna be a head to head matchup. Fuku. There we go. Pulling out the bag. Catch your packets. Slide over here to Chick Fil A. Pull it out the bag. We got the waffle fries and we got the sandwich. We got my sauces over here. Chick Fil A sauce, Polynesian, aka sweet and sour. At least in my opinion, I think they're the same. Got a mayo, some ketchups in there. All right. Anyway, back to the show. To the star of the show. Now, Chick-fil-A, we know what that is. Southern style fried chicken. Time is classic. Fuku, the new kid on the block, if you will. Now, Fuku, I heard about it many years ago by way of CNBC, Bloomberg, because that was the darling franchise or the darling startup that was going to become a franchise in the Wall Street community. It was the next... Best thing since since Shake Shack. Danny Myers Shake Shack. That was a big deal. And then Fuku was the next thing up with their chicken sandwiches, be it David Chain's Fuku. And Fuku has spread to places on the East Coast, be it, well, it was already in New York. I think it might be in Boston. It obviously hit Philly, hit Baltimore, hit D.C., and it hit Miami. It may be other places, but it got kind of slowed up due to the pandemic. But nonetheless, I got the spicy at Fuku. I think that's <laughs> pretty much all they have. It comes in this box. We got the pickles, the sauces. I forgot what kind of sauce I got. I know I got the Fuku mayo. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I got the knockout sauce. But yeah, it's definitely the Fuku fried Sando, or it could be Sando. Sando sounds kind of American. So I'll say Fuku Sando chicken sandwich that obviously will come in this aluminum bag thingy, if you will. So, yeah, we're going to do the head to head matchup. Okay, we have the chicken sandwiches unwrapped, unboxed, if you will. Chick fil A, Fuku. They're both going to be spicy chicken sandwiches. This should be a good head-to-head comparison. They look to be about similar in size. Chick-fil-A. Obviously, this is going to be DoorDash prices. $6 and some change. Fuku, $9.50 and some change. Obviously, that's not the combo price. But that's what it costs for the sandwich. So, off the bat, Chick-fil-A should be a better deal if it stacks up. And I'm very confident it will stack up against Fuku. And Fuku, when I first heard about them, they sold chicken sandwiches that were made out of thighs. And as we know, Wingstop does thighs right now in 2021. But right here is a chicken breast. They switched the chicken breast, I guess, to compete with everybody else and be in that same hemisphere, sphere, if you will. Especially since it's Southern style inspired. But I guess it'll have that Fuku David Chang swag on it as well. Waffle fries over here with Chick-fil-A. Waffle fries over here with Fuku. Jalapeno seasoning on it. Should be interesting. Got the medium over here at Chick-fil-A. Two dollars and some change. Actually about three dollars. Fuku about four fifty. So I was eating paying the premium for that. It seemed to be only one size, but I got them. I got the medium at Chick-fil-A. I said, let me just get the medium. I'm sure that'll be the similar size to Fuku. Pickles came over here on the side. Now I don't I don't I don't know which one is the mayo versus the knockout sauce at Fuku. Hopefully they put the mayo on here so I can tell. The mayo is to be kind of darker of a orange yellow kind of thing. So I'm gonna assume this is the mayo. I'm gonna assume this is the fook or the, the knockout. 
So yeah, this is a head to head matchup. Let me go ahead and get into this taste test now. Iceberg Jim, back at y'all another one. Head to head matchup. Fuku, chicken sandwich. Fried chicken sandwich versus Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Looks similar in size. Maybe, possibly, Fuku has more heft to it. Fuku, Martin's potato roll, has butter on the roll, and it has their Fuku mayo on it. Some pickles. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Jalapeno seasoned waffle fries. And Chick-fil-A has their regular waffle fries. That should be a fun comparison as well. Chick-fil-A. Classic. We know what it is. Butter on it. Pickles at the bottom. Should be fun with this head-to-head -head matchup. Okay. And I believe the darko sauce fuku mayo. Knockout sauce with that one. We'll get that set up. Chick-fil-A, we have the Chick-fil-A sauce and the Polynesian. And we'll dip the waffle fries in that and go accordingly. So, up first, I'm going to take a bite of the Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich. Probably just similar size. This one was a little bit thicker at Fuku. Chick fil A seems a little more spread out. Good spice on the Chick fil A. And we still get that Chick fil A crispy chicken sandwich taste. Can't complain. Pickle set off nicely. I'm happy. A southern spicy fried chicken concoction, if you will. I'm good with that. On the fuku. I can't taste much spice on it. Can't taste the chicken and the pickles. Definitely taste the pickles. Let me take the chicken by itself. Seems to be fried quite crispy. I will say that. It kind of seems like the chicken is there. Let me, get this. Let me, get, let me put some fuku mayo on it. Fuku mayo, really good. Tender, but it doesn't seem as tender as Chick fil A. Fried well. Fried good.
But the spice ain't really hitting like Chick fil A. It's gonna be a nice fried vessel for the sauces. Now, let, let me put some knockout sauce on it. See how that goes. Knockout sauce. Okay. Knockout sauce is cool. Good flavor to it. I think the sauce is actually really needed <laughs> with the chicken sandwiches at Fuku. Definitely. The chicken itself just isn't that flavorful. The sauce really carries this. A pickle carries this. A Chick fil A. You get that seasoning and the spice in this. Now, obviously, Fuku is different. I guess it want to be a little bit understated in terms of chicken. That's cool. We should probably put more sauce on your sandwich. Instead of this little bit, if you want to take away the focus from the chicken. So yeah, it might be the spicy sando or sando, probably sando, but It could be more flavorful, a lot more. You definitely need the sauce to carry that chicken. I ain't paying the premium for this. Chick fil A, regular and spicy. I can just eat that. And it's a better price. Let's get into the waffle fries. See what's really good with those. Chick fil A waffle fry. Basic wild fries, expect it. Nice potato taste. And it is what it is. Now, Fufu has its jalapeno seasoning. So, this should be, I'm expecting this to be really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuku fries? Oh yeah. I like that jalapeno season they got on them. In my opinion, better than Chick-fil-A. <laughs> now I know Chick-fil-A don't have anything besides the regular waffle fries. If you want to change the flavor, but you dip it in the sauces. I get that. Fuku waffle fries with a seasoning on it, coming as it is. Better than Chick fil A, in my opinion. But you go to these places with chicken sandwiches, and honestly, Fuku isn't stacking up the Chick fil A. Now, the sauces are what makes Fuku, you know, good and great, or what have you. But the prices, wow. Because even, you only get Fuku a certain way through, eat, through an eating app or in person in certain places. Chick-fil-A, you pay pretty much eating apps, but you can get essentially for half the price of Fuku any day of the week. You just sell two sandwiches. Now we just Chick fil A waffle fries and the Chick fil A sauce. As many do. Good flavor. Polynesian. Mm hmm. Good flavor. So you can always overcompensate 
for the cool fuku. Bread of waffle fries. Those are dipping cups at Chick-fil-A. <sighs> fuku mayo. Dip it in it. Knockout sauce, I believe. Mm hmm. Sauce in the waffle fries. Okay. I really like those, but it's about like chicken sandwiches. And I can honestly, I think I put Chick fil A over Fuku in terms of the price point and taste of the chicken itself. Can't get much spice from Fuku. I expected more from the Fuku fried chicken. Sondo sandwich, if you will. But hey, it is what it is. I remember when people hyping up Shake Shack. The best thing is Shake Shack is the chicken sandwiches. Their burgers, man, because the burger sauce, the burger sauce that Shake Shack, the Shack sauce, isn't that flavorful to me. I wish they had to use these Fuku sauces at Shake Shack, to be honest. So yeah, chick flavor Fuku. I'm not sure Fuku will probably improve over time. Cause they went from thigh meat, to chicken breast. And I'm sure they might add some more heat or urban spices to their chicken over at Fuku, or put more sauce on the sandwich in general. I can, I can understand the chicken being understated, but. Okay, put some sauce on it. The Fuku waffle fries, really like this taste. Even though they play premium, I give it to the Wu, Wu, Fuku waffle fries over the Chick fil A ones. So, yeah, that's my take. Chick fil A over Fuku. For the win, in terms of chicken sandwiches, that's what it's about. But hey, y'all might have a different opinion. Fuku might change the future. But this is just how I feel in June 2021. Iceberg Jim out. Deuces.